The thinnest laptop in the world, a video game that relieves stress and one arresting art show. Hello again, I'm VOA's Todd Grosshans, and this is your daily download. We begin today in a place called Macworld, the planet of Macintosh, where Mac boss Steve Jobs introduced the world's thinnest notebook computer. This is the new MacBook Air, and you can get a feel for how thin it is. No kidding. It's less than half a centimeter wide, weighs 1.3 kilograms with a battery life of five hours. Apple also unveiled online movie rentals. New releases are $4, older titles a dollar less, HD a dollar more. You can play a movie as often as you like in a 24-hour period, even on a PC. And Job says every major movie studio is cooperating. Touchstone Pictures, Miramax, MGM, Lionsgate, and New Line Cinema. Oh, and by the way, these six, too. Steve Jobs. And by the way, check out the latest news and our video of the day at our website at www.voanews.com. Now to a video game that might just be good for you. Actually, more of a video game mental exercise. It's called Mind Habits, here tested on volunteers, telemarketers, who deal with high levels of stress and rejection. They simply clicked on the face with a smile, five minutes a day, for one week. They're training a new habit of thought. Uh, which then that leads them to find more warmth in the world and, and more support that helps them feel less stressed. Yes, those who played the smile game had 17% less of the stress hormone cortisol and 68% increase in sales. The game attempts to train people to notice positive stuff rather than the negative. Telemarketers deal with high level of stress and rejection. Excellent. Turning to the world of show business, the movie Atonement got a slew of nominations, including Best Picture from the British Academy Film Awards. Other big nominees include No Country for Old Men and There Will Be Blood. Martin Scorsese's documentary on the Rolling Stones will open the Berlin Film Festival next month. Scorsese and the band will be there for the screening of Shine a Light, which documents two concerts by the Stones in late 2006. Tragically, the two-week union of Eddie Murphy and Tracy Edmonds is over, defying expectations by about a week. Actually, their wedding on the island of Bora Bora was not a legal marriage. They'd planned a legal one. Now, not necessary, unless, of course, they reconcile. The world can only hope. In the world of art, there are portraits, and now there are mug shots. Yes, mug shots. Photos taken of people when they're arrested. A bunch of them now make up an art show called the Century of American Mugshots, which opened in Chicago. Artist Mark Michelson's collection runs from the 1870s to the 1970s. I'm not interested in famous people. I'm uh, interested in uh, the small timers. This is the least wanted, not the most wanted. 500 of Michelson's collection of 1,500 mugshots will be on display for three months. Speaking of mugshots, if anyone out there knows where this guy is, please let us know. A uh, little mugshot humor there. As you know, that's the esteemed Doug Bernard. He's not wanted, I don't think, except for here, of course. He'll be back Tuesday. From the Voice of America newsroom, I'm Todd Grossman.